Hello there. Welcome back to Jadney Parks Goes to the Movies. So the last episode didn't do too well. It got something amount of views. I'm checking right now. It got 12 views and zero likes, which I'm not complaining because it's just really an output for me to talk about movies. It's to get it out of my system. It's not really... If people watch it, they watch it. If they don't, they don't. You know, it's that type of thing. Today we're going to be talking about three things because the last episode was very unstructured because I was only meant to talk about the three Jordan Peele films. I just kept adding on, and I'm only, I am only plan to talk about three things and maybe a little bit of some ramble time, uh, as per usual. But uh, the three things that we're going to be talking about today is Bullet Train, uh, I Am Groot, and then Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. Uh, so let's start with the first one I saw, which was Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. I don't really want this one to be 50 minutes long, maybe half hour, even if then. But uh, so yeah, we'll see. Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. So, this one, I normally would have had zero interest in it if it didn't have such high ratings. It got a 4.3 on Letterboxd. Currently, it's number 59 in the top 250. And I don't, I wouldn't necessarily say it's, I see, I don't really have many problems with it, if any at all. Maybe the only issue I have is that it's a little slow. But, like, it is really good. It's an incredible movie. I was just... It's just, it it feels very, like, it's not something that you'd expect to be seeing in, like, the top 250 or something with just this amount of, like, critical praise, you know? Because it's just a small little stop-motion mockumentary. And I really like that because the fact that it's stop-motion and shot like a documentary, I find it that very impressive. Uh, the runtime is only 90 minutes, but that's that's probably one of my only issues is that it kind, it's very slow. Uh, not in the sense where it's boring, but it just takes its time, and it feels like it goes on for a lot longer than 90 minutes, and it's incredibly dark for, uh, it's, well, advertised demographic, because it looks like it's gonna be a normal kids thing, but it's not. Um, Dean Fletcher Camp, I see, okay, so I have not seen, like, the other Marcella Shell. I knew, kind of knew what it was, I mean, I recognized it from, like, 10 years ago, but, like, uh, I, I really enjoyed this film. I feel like it's one of the better films of the year. Uh, I think it's top, it's, uh, my number six currently. Uh, it's, you know, give or take, it's pretty good. I really enjoyed it personally. Uh, I, like I said, it is pretty slow, so I don't think it'd be one I'd rewatch a lot, but, you know, yeah. Um, so if you don't know my rating system, let me get this out of the way. An 8 out of 10 to a 9 out of 10 is a golden ticket, and a 9 out of 5 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 is a trophy. I'm going to be giving Marcel the show with shoes on an 8 out of 10 flat. Uh, like I said, I don't really have any problems with it. It's just really slow for me, at least in my opinion. But maybe that's good for some people because you like to spend time with these type of things. And also Marcel is just an adorable character, and it actually almost made me cry at points. Uh, the only reason I'm talking very little about this one is because I saw this one at the end of July, and today is currently the 20th of August, so, you know, I'm not necessarily going to remember all of it, uh, but I do remember the key plot points and stuff, but I'm not going to spoil it because I really recommend it, and I really think that people would like it. So, yeah, let's move on to the next thing before, uh, the, the is, uh, let's move on to the, the animated stuff because, okay, so let's talk about I Am Groot. Because when I heard this was coming out, I thought it was going to be like a series, and apparently then I thought it was going to be an anthology series. No, it's just a collection of short films. Um, was this necessary? No. Not not whatsoever. Um, but is it cute? Sure. Uh, so let's just, um, l let me rank them, because that's the only way I'm going to talk about him. So the order I watched him in was Groot's First Steps, then The Little Guy. Then Groot takes a bath, Groot's pursuit, then Magnum Opus, because I heard Magnum Opus was the best one. And yeah, so uh, I, let's talk about uh, my ranking of them. So number five is Groot's first steps. Uh, I, I found it's it's exactly that. It's just Groot chilling, baby Groot. Uh, Groot takes a bath. Uh, it's just that. Groot takes a bath. The little guy is probably the one with like, I guess it has some sort of story uh, where basically he's this giant thing to these all small creatures. And it was the one that was, like, mainly focused in the trailers. That's what the trailers mainly focus on. But eh, it's whatever. Um, Magnum Opus. Uh, I was really expecting to like this one, and I heard it's the best one. It has Rocket Raccoon. I was 
it's all right. I think it's whatever. And then Groot's Pursuit is probably my favorite because it's just, it's ridiculous and it's a dance off. Something I love about the Groot character is that it's Vin Diesel and he's still going. And I, I just, I think that's hilarious to think about, you know, because you don't think of Vin Diesel and think tree. You think of big guy car movie, you know, but like I said, was this really necessary? No. Did I still enjoy it? Sorry. I don't know that one. Okay. Uh, did I still enjoy it? Give or take. It was all right. Uh, then uh, let's talk about Bullet Train 2022 because, oh boy, this one was a doozy. So this one is directed by David Leach, who directed Deadpool 2. So I like the Deadpool movies. I like the first Deadpool. I like the second Deadpool. However, my issue with the first Deadpool is that it was slow, but it's not directed by the same guy. Deadpool 2... It's two hours long, and there's a joke that goes on for maybe ten minutes where he won't die. And this movie's kind of like that, where it probably could have ended three times, but luckily the payoff was it's very satisfying. Um, the two hours, it's not necessarily slow. I mean, at some points it is. It's not necessarily slow, but it is, like, it just, it takes its time, but the payoff is really well done, I, I really enjoy the payoff, Brad Pitt is hilarious, I like Brad Pitt, uh, Joey King, I was expecting her to annoy me, because I'm not a big fan of her, or any of the stuff she's done, you know, she actually, she was pretty good, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and, uh, Brian Tyree Henry, uh, were a great comedic duo, I loved, it. yeah, um, I they were probably my favorite plot line. Brad Pitt no, Brad Pitt was my favorite. But like I love just seeing all these different stories collide because eventually that's what it is. And yeah, it just I see there's not much really to talk about this film without spoiling it. I don't want to spoil it, but I don't want to make a whole separate video. So I I just there's a lot of reveals and stuff, but it's just it works because this film all takes place on a train. It's kind of like a bottle episode of a TV show, you know? Um, but it's like it's very smoothly paced. The music, it is shot beautifully. The action sequences are shot really well. Um, and it's the best. The highs are really high and the lows are just all right. The, okay, so something in this film that's very prominent is a product placement. And I think it's utterly hilarious. Some people might find it annoying, but I thought it was just hilarious. Um, so... There's, yeah, like I said, there's not much to talk about, but, like, each character, they were all there to have fun, and you can tell, and it worked. Uh, there's a lot of Thomas the Trains references, and I find that utterly hilarious. Um, but, yeah, uh, the staying alive thing from the trailers, it's not in it, which some movies, they either don't put it in at all, or they put it in too much. This movie, it was only for the title sequence, and I appreciate that. Uh, but, like... They, they, it doesn't really take itself seriously, and I appreciate that, because it's just a fun time, a fun two hours, uh, but it does have the, it does go on for a little bit too long, um, but yeah, there's, that's all the three stuff, I know this is short, so I'm gonna just talk about some other stuff I watched, I watched Sleeping Beauty and Almost Cried, uh, uh, specifically at the scene with their dancing, it's a really beautifully shot film. Um, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, I really like the ride, Mr. Toad is probably my favorite, no, it's not my favorite Fantasyland Dark Ride, but it's one of my favorites, I, I didn't like it, I did not like the uh, Sleepy Hollow stuff, I thought it was boring, it does not need to be half an hour long, the stuff with Mr. Toad, he should have gone to hell, he's a terrible person, um, then I got really into Halloween, the time of year, and I don't know, this is good, just ramble time, so yeah, uh, Back to the Future, I love Back to the Future. It is just a great film. Uh, Beetlejuice, wonderful. Paranorman, wonderful. Logan, I was underwhelmed, but I still... It's one of those things that I need to... I think I'd appreciate it more if I liked... Uh, what's it called? X-Men, Wolverine, that type of stuff. And Avengers Endgame, I really like Avengers Endgame because it's not a movie. It is a cinematic event. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, the etiology is fine, whatever. Uh, I, I have, I have fun with it. Yeah, like I said, there's not much to talk about, uh, which is why I'm, this is not gonna be, like, the half hour long thing, because I don't really, I don't know, I've been watching Breaking Bad right now, and I don't want to talk about that right now, because I'm making a whole other video, and I think I might be putting 
all of it into one where like I talk about Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, and then uh, El Camino. But don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, there's not really much else to talk about. It's been very slow because everything else is starting back up. Life's getting in the way. I've been taking a break off the movie block, but I've watched over 200, so I'm content. I don't think I'll be able to reach the 365 considering how many days I've missed. But yeah, you know, fun and fancy free. I want to start getting watching some TV shows that I haven't watched. So uh, yeah, uh, Breaking Bad is currently my number one, but you know, I need to finish it first. I'm currently on season four, episode eight, Hermanos, I think. But uh, yeah, so I'm learning French right now. So como ça va? Ça va bien? Et vous? Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you stayed all the way, there's not really much. So yeah, that's it. Um, so I don't give uh, ratings to short films, so I'm not giving, I'm good rating. I'm gonna be giving Bullet Train a seven out of 10. Uh, yeah, like I said, fun, whatever. Uh, I'm not putting it back up on screen now. So seven out of 10, if you're listening as an artist, whatever. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, see you whenever I might do another one of these, or I might just get the Breaking Bad video. It's probably going to be at least two weeks. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay gold. Toodles.